What's up guys, Timothy here with 3D Printing Resource. Today, I wanna to talk about layer height. So what is layer height? It is simply the measurement of the height of each layer of your 3D print. It's important because it has a huge impact on the surface quality of your final product. Your layer height determines the resolution or detail of the object that you're 3D printing. A smaller layer height will result in finer resolution and higher detail, where a higher number for your layer height will result in lower quality or lower resolution but will print much faster. To demonstrate, I'll be using this model of Baby Yoda from Thingiverse to print up multiple layer heights so that we can compare the results. Alright, so here we are in Simplify 3D. I've brought in my STL file of Baby Yoda. Uh, this is designed by Marvin Miniatures on Thingiverse. Uh, it's a really terrific design with a lot of detail, uh, and I'll put the link to that in the description below. Uh, but what I want to do is use this file here to show you how your, the way you use your layer height settings can really either let this be uh, a very good, high quality, uh, great looking print, or it can just turn out to be a so-so or not great looking print at all. So what I want to do is real quick open up the process settings here, and all we're interested in here is the layer height. And we're going to find that right here, primary layer height. Right now I've got it set to 0.2 millimeters. That is definitely what I would consider to be uh, just the standard, kind of the default uh, layer height for a lot of uh, different things you're going to print. And it's probably the layer height that I use the most, that a lot of people use the most. Uh, it's a great compromise between quality and efficiency, meaning that you can print it faster because the smaller your layer height number is, the higher the quality is going to be, but it's also going to take more time. Uh, and also, the higher your number gets. Uh, it's going to print much faster, but it's also going to compromise on the quality, especially, especially when you get to uh, curvatures and rounded, uh, rounded parts and things like that, as you'll see uh, with this Baby Yoda design. So what I'm going to do is click Prepare to Print so that it takes us into the print preview. And now, now it's actually, as we get closer, now we can see the layer lines. And if you're still struggling to understand what layer lines are, what I want to do is show you, when I drag this slider here, to uh, automate what it's going to look like. You see how it keeps adding these layer by layer? What that is, that, that's the layer. Th these are the layers that are going to make up uh, our object uh, that's going to be Baby Yoda once we take it off the printer. And the layer height is just referring to the, uh, the measurement of the height of this uh, layer. Let's get a better angle at it. It's saying that this right here, this line right there, that is 0.2 millimeters. And uh, now you might start to understand that as that number uh, gets smaller, it means that there's going to be less noticeable layer lines, that uh, it's going to be a, a higher resolution, uh, and it's also going to take longer to print. Even though it's the same amount of filament, it's just doing it, uh, take, taking its time more, for lack of a better term. So anyway, that kind of helps you see uh, get a visual for those layer layer lines that layer height at point two. What I'm going to do now to help you see the difference and why it matters what layer height you select. So let's now let's bump that down to 0 0.08. That's about the finest I'm ever going to print on a with PLA. But uh, let's just see here now how that affects our results. So as you can see, the closer we can get in pretty close now and see, wow, that is very high quality. Uh, some areas that were, the detail wasn't great at 0.2. Now all of a sudden, that is much higher quality and uh, it looks really good. If you look up here, you might have noticed the, the build time. This jumps up now to almost three hours and I don't even have support set so that you can see the model good. So when I printed this uh, particular design, uh, it took uh, close to about three and a half hours, I think set at 0 0.08 uh, millimeter layer height. Now the results were very good and uh, there were very little layer lines but it did just take a good bit of time. Now to show you the other extreme I'm gonna edit those settings and then let's jump that all the way up to 0.3 and realistically I would 
you would never use a layer height such as that on a small detailed model like this, but I just want you to see uh, the difference that it can make. And we get in pretty close, and if we drag that down, drag it up, we can see the quality is just not that impressive. It doesn't look that great. Uh, I did print one out at that height, and it actually turned out okay. Uh, at first glance, it looks good, but then the closer you get, you start to see a lot of the imperfections. These areas under the arm did not do terrific. Uh, and it just shows that sometimes just because you can print it faster, uh, I think with so those 52 minutes there with supports, it took uh, just right at an hour. Uh, it just wasn't worth the time that you saved uh, to get a, a product or a, a final print that just wasn't that impressive. And I just wanted to point out if you're using Cura, you can also adjust your layer height settings pretty similarly to Simplify 3D. You just come up to this right hand corner, click the box for your print settings. It calls it your profiles and uh, that's where you can go on and click through some of these presets. It's at a 0.2 millimeter layer height right now. You could drop it down to 1. Uh, you can go up as high as 0.6. I would never recommend that. If you want to do a custom layer height, you just click custom and then layer height and that's where you can then in that box enter in the layer height that you want to use for any given print. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful and informative. If you have any questions or thoughts, be sure to put those in the comments below. If you liked this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to 3D Printing Resource so you don't miss out on any videos in the future. Thanks for watching.